Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from TonePure.com and in this video we're going to talk about chromatic and double chromatic medians and the scale we're going to use is a C scale but it works for any scale. So the, ski, the C scale is just all the white notes starting from C and ending at C an octave higher. Now, the diatonic medians, if you start with the C chord and you go up a major third to the E minor chord, that would be the median in the key of C. If you go down a minor third, then you get a, which is the other median. So the E is referred to the median, and the A minor is referred to as the submedian. So the thing about the median and submedian is the notes are in the scale. The reason we know the notes are in the scale in C is because they're all white keys. So the scale of C has all white keys. And the reason we call it diatonic is because all the notes are in the key of C. So they're all white notes. So diatonic just means they're in the scale we're considering, which in this case is C. Chromatic means there are notes outside the scale. So notes outside the scale in C will be black notes. So that's an easy way to look at it. Now, chromatic medians are formed by going up or down a major or a minor third using a major or minor chord type of the same quality. So what that means is if I'm starting with C and I go up a major third, which would be E, and then I want so I'm starting with a major chord, so I go to a major chord. So I'm going from the same chord quality, a major to a major. And then if I go from C up a minor third to a E flat, since E flat is the minor third in the key of C, then I get another chromatic median. And the reason we know they're chromatic is we're getting black keys when we do this. So that means they're outside the scale. Chromatic means outside the scale, outside the, in this case, the C scale or the diatonic scale of C. And if we go down a minor third, to an A major chord, so we're going from a major to a major, then we do have the sharp, which means it's chromatic, so we have a chromatic median going down. And then if we go from C and we go down a major third from C to A flat and use the A flat major key, that once again we're going from a major to a major. So these would be all of the chromatic medians starting with the C chord. So we have one, two, three, four. We also have the two diatonic medians, so that's six, based on the C chord and the C scale. Now a doubly chromatic median is formed when we go up or down a minor third from the root, in this case C, but the chords must be in opposite quality. In other words, a major would go to a minor or a minor to a major. So in this case, we're, in the, we're starting with C, so it would be from a major to a minor. And then we could also do this in a minor scale as well. It's just easier to see uh, when we're doing it in C major because all of the 
diatonic notes of the scale are white keys. So if we, so they must be opposite in quality. So major to minor, or if we were in a minor scale, uh, minor to major. And the other crucial thing is no common tone in the two chords, none at all. So if we start with the C chord, and we go, which is a major chord, and we go to the minor chord up a minor third, then we get E flat and there are no common tones from the C chord to the E flat minor chord. And, and clearly it's a chromatic because we have two black notes, E flat and B flat, as well as G flat. And then the other case, if we start at C, which is a major chord, and we go down a minor chord, down a major third, we get another chord, E flat minor, and there are no notes in common. So those would be doubly chromatic. So the Chromatic medians, doubly chromatic medians are used, and John Williams uses them. Holst used them, a precursor to John Williams. Um, they're used in Lord of the Rings. They're used in a lot of different music, uh, film music in particular these days. So it's a good topic to be aware of and put into practice in your compositions. So this is Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music. Thank you.